Hey guys, this is Sleep the Aaron and welcome back sa ating basic C++ tutorial. So this is part 9 and for today we are going to learn about 2D arrays and nested for loops. So um, disclaimer, kung hindi nyo pa alam yung arrays and for loops, I recommend watching those tutorial first bago magproceed kayo dito. So hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist yung arrays and for loops. Okay. So without further ado, let's go on to our tutorial flow. So for today, we are going to learn the 2D array initialization. So gagawa lang tayo ng 2D array. And then we are going to iterate through a 2D array using nested for loops. So babasahin lang natin lahat ng values dun sa loob ng 2D arrays na yan. So kung alam nyo naman yung array, na collection siya ng data. Itong 2D array, collection siya ng array. Okay? So let's go on and define muna kung ano yung 2D arrays. So, 2D arrays are like arrays but each element contains another array. So, ano nga ba yung description natin sa array from the last tutorial? So, an array is a collection of values with the same data type. So, ngayon, ang 2D arrays naman are like arrays. Pero yung array na yun, may laman pa siyang array. So, parang nested array lang siya. So, may intindihan nyo mamaya kung paano yun. So, Tingnan nyo yung syntax. So, this is the 2D array syntax initialization. So, eto, we have the data type, the number grid. So, eto yung array name. So, parang yung array lang last time. Then, we have two pair of square brackets. And sa loob nun yung size nung ating 2D array. So, isipin nyo, eto yung row. And then, eto yung column. So, equals... So, curly braces, then may kapartner siyang curly braces sa baba, then semicolon. Tapos sa loob nun, mag initialize pa tayo ng mga array. So, kung naalala nyo pa yung, yung pag initialize ng array, gumagamit niya siya ng curly braces sa loob. So, we will make a curly braces, then value 1, then comma, value 2, then close nyo yung curly braces. Then, dahil nasa loob pa siya ng isa pang array, we will use a comma, then... We will proceed to the next array. So, arrays of arrays nga yung tawag dito. So, may laman yung array na isa pang array. With the same data type pa rin. So, as you can see, ayan. So, bakit naging 3 to? So, kung makapansin nyo, may tatlong array sa loob ng array. So, 1, 2, 3. And bawat array na yun may merong 2 elements which is 1, 2. So, that's why 3 and 2 to. So, you need to indicate kung ganong kalaki yung array, 2D array natin. Kasi kung hindi, malilito kayo and hindi gagana yung code nyo. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan natin guys, let's proceed sa ating code blocks. And let's try this out. So, para mas maintindihan nyo. Kasi nakalito talaga siyang intindihin here. So, let's go! So, we are here at code blocks and we are going to make a 2D array. So, paano nga ba uli yung initialization? So, data type. So, for me, in pwede ding string, pwede kahit anong gusto nyo. Then, I will name my array number grid. So, kahit ano din sa inyo. Then, dalawang square bracket. So, huwag muna natin lagyan ng size. Equals. So, magka-partner na curly braces. And then, i-end natin siya. Ayan. Ng, ano. So, para hindi tayo malilito, ipapantay natin to. So, sa loob nito mga arrays pa uli yung laman, ba So, okay. And sa loob nyan, maglalagay pa tayo ng array. So, tab-tab. Ayan. So, gagawa pa tayo ng array. So, yan. May pair ulit tayo ng curly braces. Then, we will make a comma. So, sa loob ng curly braces na yun is yung value natin. So, I'm gonna put 1, 2. Then, copy natin to Enter. Enter. Ayan. Okay na yan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, as you can see, we have a 2D array. So, lalagyan natin dapat ng size yan. So, again, ilang rows ba yun nandito? 1, 2, 3. So, tatlo yung elements dun sa unang array, which is 3. And then, sa loob ng array na yun, meron tayong dalawang elements, so which is 2. So, yun yung size natin. So, sana naiintindihan nyo, guys. So, if ever na may hindi kayo naiintindihan, just comment down below kung ano yung hindi nyo naiintindihan. So guys, ayan na. We have initialized our 2D array. So we have 3 rows and 2 elements in each row. So meron tayong kada array, meron tayong dalawang elements. Meron tayong tatlong array sa loob ng isa pang, na isang 2D array. Okay? Gets nyo? So now guys, na alam na natin mag-initialize ng 2D array, we will display yung isang value sa loob ng 2D array. So paano nga ba natin i-access yung 
isang value sa loob ng 2D array. So, we will see out something. So, see out, less and less than. So, normally, pagka sa one-dimensional array or array lang, we will just type the name of the array and then we will just put the index inside the square bracket. So, kunwari, zero. So, yung first element yung kukunin natin. But in this case, we have a 2D array. So, dalawang square bracket siya. And kung uh, napapansin nyo, and if naintindihan nyo na yung kanina yung explanation ko, we have three arrays and meron tayong two elements sa loob ng isang array. So, yung first square bracket na to, indicates kung pang ilang array yung i-access natin. So, again guys, pagkaasa ano na tayo, programming, we are going to count from zero. Okay? So, this is array zero, this is array one, this is array two. Okay? So, kung gusto natin i-access yung pangatlong array, we need to put two here. So, iba yung sa size. So, huwag kayo malilito sa size and sa pag access So, pag sa size, itatype nyo talaga kung ilan sila. So, nag start siya sa 1. But, when it comes to accessing, magsisimula na tayo sa 0, guys. Okay? Good. So, now, we will access a value here. So, again, so, I want to access the 6th value. So, this is array 0, 1, 2. So, I will put 2 here. So, dito tayo kukuha ng value. And then, sa next square bracket naman is kung pang ilang element dun sa index 2 na array na yun. So, this is index 2 array. And sa loob nun, may dalawa pang element. So, this is 0 and this is 1. So, gusto ko yung 6 ko nun. So, this is 1. So, number grid index 2, index 1. Okay? So, ayan nga. Dapat 6 yung lumabas dito. So, if I run this, lalabas 6. As you can see, 6. So, this is 0, 1, 2, and then from here, 0, 1. So, that's why 6 yung lumabas. So, guys, um, para malaman nyo kung naiintindihan nyo nga ba yung 2D array na to, tingnan nyo kung alam nyo yung lalabas sa itatype ko na to. So, ayan na. 0, 0. So, ano yung lalabas na number pag kaniran ko? So, I will wait for you guys. So, alam nyo na? So, we will run this. So, if your answer is 1, then you are correct. So, naiintindihan nyo na kung paano gumagana yung 2D arrays. So, da, kaya ka naging 0, 0 to because 0, so pang unang array, 0. Then, pang unang element dun sa unang array. So, 0, then 0. So, kung lalagay ko 0, then 1, 2 yung lalabas nyo kasi 0, then 0, 1. Gets? So, pag ganira natin yan, makikita nyo 2. Okay? So, dapat yes nyo na by now. If not, so magtanong na kayo sa comment below. So, ayan na. Magpuproceed na tayo sa nested for loops. So, mas nakakalito to. But, bear with me guys. So, dapat alam nyo kung, dapat fully understood nyo kung paano nangyayari yung for loops in itself. So, kung hindi nyo pa alam yun, basta panoorin nyo yung video about for loops. And then you should proceed here. Okay? So, now, we will iterate through the 2D arrays. So, kung naalala nyo pa yung for loops, so we are going to type for the, the for keyword, and then parenthesis, then yung first natin ilalagay is yung initialization ng isang variable in i is equals to 0. Then for i is less than the first, ano, the first, yung size neto, which is 3, less than 3, then i++. Plus plus. So, the reason na nilagay natin to, di ba naalala nyo, nag-iterate din tayo sa isang normal na array. So, hindi siya 2D array. So, we hinanap muna natin yung size ng array. So, since alam naman natin yung size ng array, we will just put the size here. Okay? So, we have 3 arrays inside the array. So, dahil nga nested for loops yung gagamitin natin, ibig sabihin, yung for loop, meron pang laman na for loop sa loob. So again, we will put a for loop inside here. For, again, we will initialize a new variable. So, wag nang gamitin yung i kasi nagamit na sa labas. Int k naman is equals to 0. Then, k is less than yung pangalawa, yung nested array naman natin. Ito, yung element sa loob, which is 2. Then, less than 2. Then, k++. Okay, gets nyo ba? 
and then curly braces and third. So paghiwalay natin. So na, as you can see, merong for loop sa loob ng for loop. So in order para maintindihan natin kung paano magra-run yung for loop na to. Kung naalala niyo yung for loop, 'di ba? Titingnan niya. So in k is equals to 0. So meron tayong k na is equals to 0. So if k is less than 2, then run this code tapos dadagdagan natin. Tapos uulit ulit, then titingnan ulit kung less than 2 yung k. So ganun yung gagawin niya. Ganun pa rin yung gagawin niya. But when we enter here sa so for loop na to, so yung i is equals to 0, 'di ba? So titingnan niya kung yung i is less than 3 which is oo kasi 0 nga siya so that so ira-run niya yung code sa loob which is etong for loop so may i-stack muna siya dito so gagawin muna niya yung for loop na to so yung k ba is less than 2 and then run this code then dadagdagan niya to kasi ikot uli siya dito so hanggang maging greater than 2 na yung ating k so after that we will proceed here then ikot uli tayo dito sa unang-una then magiging 1 na tong i so is i is less than 3 Yes. So, i-run ulit natin tong for loop. So, tatapusin muna ulit niya tong for loop na to. And then, we will proceed ulit dito. Then, uulit ulit siya dun sa unang-unang for loop. So, ganun ang nangyayari yung nested for loops. Tatapusin muna niya yung mga for loops sa loob bago niya, bago niya i-proceed yung nasa labas na for loop. So, paano natin ma-access yung 2D array natin gamit to? So, we will just see out here. See out, less than, less than. Then, number grid. So, first of all is yung, ano natin, number of array sa loob ng 2D array. So, which is yung i. Ito yun, yung i. So, una yan, 0 yan, ba 0. Then, next is yung k. So, let's analyze this. So, yung i is 0 sa una. And then, yung k is 0 sa una. So, yung number grid, ang i-access niya is 0, 0. So, dahil nga may stack yung, ano dito, for loop. So, magiging k is equals to 1 na to pagkatapos na itong si out number grid 0, 0. Then, titingnan niya ulit if k is less than 2, 2. Then, oo. Then, then iraran niya muna pala to. So, which is 0, 1 na. Then, dadagdagan niya ulit yung k which is equals na sa 2. So, hindi na siya less than sa 2. Then, iikot ulit siya. So, magiging 1 na yung i. Then, 0 ulit yung k. So, ang mangyayari niyan, i is 1, then yung k is 0. Tapos ulit siya, na magiging 1 and 1 na to. So, guess nyo ba? So, iikutan lang niya lahat ng for loop na yan hanggang mabasa niya lahat to. So, ganun magbasa ng 2D array. So, let's run this. As you can see, makikita nyo, nagbilang siya 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, which is lahat ng elements na to. So, this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1. Ganun yun. So, kung hindi nyo naintindihan, just comment down below your questions and I will try to answer your questions na may intindihan nyo, okay? So, let's, um, para mas maintindihan nyo, every time na mag-iikot tayo sa for loop na sa labas, we will see out an end line. So, yung end line lang natin. So, para mapunta sa new line. So, if you run this, makikita nyo, magsusulat siya ng parang ganito. So, run this. Yan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, every row natin, nag end line siya kasi, di ba nga sabi ko, so, i is equals to 0 sa una, then 0, 0. Tapos, may pagkita 0, 1. Tapos, ikot ulit siya sa loob for you. And then, mag end line siya. So, mapuputol ulit. Malilipat na siya sa 3, 4. So, kaya, parang ganito yung lumabas. Okay, gets nyo na ba kung paano nangyayari yung ating 2D arrays and less than 4 loops? If so, then congratulations. Malapit na tayo sa object-oriented programming in C++ and uh, you've done great job. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. And if may hindi kayo naintindihan, just comment down below your questions and I will try to answer them. So, as always, yun lang muna and I will see you in the next video guys goodbye